Okay. So, right. Today, what we have to discuss uh, is about uh, different type of keys in DBMS. Different type of keys in DBMS. So, basically, we have done, this is what we have done last week. We did different selection queries in your database. So, what you have to do, so please uh, log into your uh, database management system, which is this one, cPanel, right? So in cPanel, we are going to discuss about uh, some more queries today, but related to some uh, table relations based on primary key, foreign key, and some other keys. Hari. Adapi katakaran ni anu tu kote table leka kuna kumada tables keep yak. Apa ekat table leka kini data retrieve kena video katakara. We read that. So this is this was our example in PHP my admin. Let me show. This was A level ICT is our database. And in our database we had. Wait. So in our database we had only one table. We got only one table. Today we have to actually create more tables and link those tables using keys. Right here in this table, you can see student ID. And if I go to the structure, student ID, you can see that is the primary key. The key symbol is there. So can you remember what is primary key? Yes, I just told this, but I have not explained perfectly. So I just, uh, yes, I just discussed once. So can you remember that? What is primary key? Yes. Why we use primary key? Can you remember or can't? Sit me. Netuli, can you remember? What is primary key? What is the purpose of having primary key? Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. I'll explain if you cannot remember. Right. So please give me answer to this question. Basically, have you, uh, have you visited the uh, donates.lk website when you got all level results? And how you got the results using which? Which was useful when fetching the results from the database in Donetsk.lk? Yes? Donetsk.lk came, results gone, and the results gone. Yes? 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 Why couldn't you give the name? Nama dila ganna beri ai, iskole dila ganna beri ai. So what's the reason? Why couldn't you give the address and get the results? Why your telephone number? So why? What's the reason? Why we use index number? Yes. So any special reason? All of you have index numbers. The only one you know what? How much of my index number is? Three hundred. Oh. Yes, you had. So all of you had index number. <coughs> that is one reason. The one reason, the reason number one, it is not null. It is not empty. So all of you, all of the students, they had student numbers. So that is the reason number one. It's not empty. The second is second thing is it's not. Repetitive, it will not be duplicated. For an example, assume that you have you are twins. Ogolo twins la kile hitan. Twins la na address what will happen about the address? Will it be repeated or not? Ogolo twins la na address ka repeat na the nadd. Repeat na. Repeat na. Telephone number. It will also be repeated. Maybe you are using your land telephone number or parents number. It will also be repeated. Right, but your index number, even for twins, index number is different, no? Right, even for twins, index number is different. So, what is the reason 
to choose index number as the primary key. Actually, index number is the key which is used to represent the entire row. So using this index number number three, we can remember netuli senanaya and netuli at gmail.com entire row using number three. It is possible to fetch this. Similar to that using your index number, it is possible to fetch your name, school and results for each subject, right? So there are two reasons. The reason number one, it is not duplicated. And reason number two, or you can say the other way, reason number one, it's not null, it's not empty, and it's not replicated. So those are the reasons to select that number. And it is easy to find the entire row, or it is unique. It is easy to fetch entire row using that number. That's why you have NIC number uh, when registering in uh, national, uh, that uh, when, when you register, uh, as a Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan, so you have to provide national identity card number. When you go to another country, you have to provide passport and the password number. So those are some unique features, unique identifiers of you. Okay, let's see the theoretical part behind that. There are several keys in the databases. So in basically, you should know this one. I'm going to highlight this in green color. So and. So these are the key components, primary key and foreign key. But in addition to those keys, so you should know the other keys also. Because, okay, the first one is super key. Super key is a group of single or multiple keys which identifies ironic row in a table. Okay, so what are the super keys for this table? So super key, single or multiple keys can be one or more keys which is which used to identify a row in a table okay can you tell me super keys in this table so what are the super keys in this table yes any key which can identify or any column so any item which can be used to identify the entire row so what are the super keys here they don't have okay. Student ID. Yes, student ID is super key. Yes. Student ID. Anything else other than student ID? Anything else? So let's use, let's uh, see the structure of this table. And let's go to this. Okay. Let's see the data of this table. This is the table, and I'm going to insert that table here and explain this case let's take that i'm going to give this note to you right don't worry <coughs> you got the previous note or not not yet so i think you got the previous note right okay so let's say this table so student id is a super key anything else anything else so think about this, think about the definition. Definition like a balana, kiyavala balala kiyana balana, tava super key kiyana balana. Only student ID. Any more super keys? Come on, guys, you have to answer. Mongolian? Yeah. Yes, first name is also super key. Why? First name is unique name. We are not name. data the have First name is also unique, and last name is also unique, and email is also unique. So all these are super keys. And what about uh, this one? Student ID and first name. That is also a super key. Together, it's a super key. What about student ID and last name? Together, it's a super key. So what about student ID and email? Together, it's create a super key. So not just that, you can say uh, student ID, first name and last name. Together, it create a super key. Or oh, first name, student ID, uh, student ID, uh, first name and email is another super key. Or oh, student ID, first name, last name and email. Or oh, student ID, email, uh, yes, first name, last name and email. So that is also a super key. Likewise, there are many super key. These are the examples. This is not the end, right? So you can write all four as the super key 
a super key can be one or single or multiple keys so a student id ekin api randura ganna puluwan kawuda student kiyala first name ekenoth puluwan nethule kiyuwoth mokada no other nethule isa deya last name no other sena nayaka isa deya so you can identify email no other email isa deya so you can identify student id and first name both student id three vena nethule yes you need student id and last name student id three vena sena nayaka that is also correct student id tree one and ethuli at gmail dot that is also unique all these are unique combinations so please write down the heading then draw the table then write the concept super key and write down the examples so can we write down now or are you going to copy the note later so what do you prefer since this is a summary let's write down right this is summary no need to this is not a big note no this is summary so please write down this it's easy to remember by by writing but if you really hate writing let me know then i can go to the next one right uh, let's uh, discuss the next thing okay if you find the super so super key is so basically any unique key primary key is a column or group of column in the table that uniquely identify every row in the table so what's the difference between super key and primary key super key is a, is a group of single or multiple keys identify a row in the table so to identify any row you can use a super key so basically primary key is also same it's a column or group of columns again uh, single or multiple keys that uniquely identify every row but here this is called it's a minimal super key so no need to go for all the super keys what is the minimal the minimal super key avama washen avashya wenne mokadda what is the minimal super key so student id is enough because from student id you can identify any any because that is the least amount of data so it has only number so small thing to remember not a name like but very small thing to remember so now it's just a number so minimal super key is called the primary key so prime so anyway primary key is also a super key but that super key is minimal super key right is write down it's called minimal super key and right, now you can write down this right primary key is called minimal super key so play uh, please write down that as well so i uh, here example you can take student id as the minimal super key which is the primary key of this table please write down that too so the next thing is candidate key candidate key is a set of attributes that uniquely identify tuples in a table so in the other hand it is also tuples means rows a can a candidate key is a super key with no repeated attributes primary key is a super key with no repeated attributes here so what what that what is the meaning of no repeated attribute so candidate key is a super key with no repeated attribute that means so if you are using the same attribute again and again so for an example this one first name last name same kind of attributes and you can use as a group but if you select the minimal super key that is primary key and candidate key is actually so in our words so we can tell it is suitable keys for a primary key suitable keys for primary key for an example you can say uh, so out of this what are the suitable keys student id is suitable so anything else anything else other than student id student id unique tau mona ad vada ganna pula first name is it suitable thinking about the future needs is it suitable netulila tava inna baida arunila tava inna baida enna puluwanne da aluthen arunila inna puluwan aluthen netunila inna puluwan 
అలుతిన్ సేనా నాయకులు అయినప్పుడు అలుతిన్ ఏక నాయకులు అయినప్పుడు సో స్టూడెంట్ ఐడి ఈ సూటబుల్ మోర్ సూటబుల్ వాట్ ఎల్స్ ఎనిథింగ్ ఎల్స్ ఈమెయిల్ కెన్ టూ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ సేమ్ ఈమెయిల్ ఎస్ కెన్ టూ పీపుల్ నో సో ఈమెయిల్ ఇస్ అన్ అదర్ ఈమెయిల్ ఇస్ అన్ అదర్ థింగ్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు థింక్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద థింగ్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు రిపీట్ so forever student id will not be repeated and email will not be repeated forever but the thing is email can be null right email can be null some people will not have emails but think in that email is not null right so just within bracket you have to say think in that it is not null think in that email is not null you can select that okay please write down what is candidate key an alternative key is after selecting the primary key the remaining keys are called alternative keys please write down the both right now we know few keys the super key any unique key is a super key primary key a selected super key or minimal super key is the primary key so easy way to remember minimal super key candidate key any suitable key suitable primary key is candidate key so easy way to remember alternative key so after selecting the primary key after selecting the primary key the remaining the remaining the remaining candidate keys are called alternative keys so that means after selecting A student id email will be email will be an alternative key example so student id is selected so what remain is the email email is the alternative key here foreign key so the next one is foreign key okay please write down up to this level Sachini, have you finished writing or still doing? Sachini? Yes, I think so. Doing, right, okay. I'll give you one minute. So after discussing this, we'll do the practical, right? So first of all, we have to know the theory to do the practical and that's why I have discussed the theory before we start the practical. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, combine tables using this primary key and foreign key relationship. right so while writing so let me let me tell the concept of uh, this relational database in relational database you have relations relations means again tables but with some relationship relations means tables relation kela gana table matamma but these tables are having relationship with other tables that's why those are called relations so if tables are isolated then they, that database is not much useful tables are isolated then that database is not much useful because you cannot generate hybrid information but if tables are uh, if tables are related then you can generate more information than the usual isolated tables okay finished writing yes sir okay then foreign key foreign key is basically a primary key of another table it's a column that create relationship between two tables the purpose of foreign key is to maintain integrity data integrity that allows navigation between two different instances of an entity okay that is technical but easy to remember word i always need some easy to remember word in it's a primary key 
of another table which is used to link that table to the intended table right. so let's write this but don't know let's write this after creating because we we need some example right don't write now so let's go and uh, see okay let's say this is student id first name last name and email and let's say i need another um, yeah i need another another table actually <coughs> so assume that in the scenario in the scenario it is given something like that uh, students are assigned to the classes students are assigned to the classes a class has a class teacher a class has class teacher grade uh, class teacher grade uh, and don't write right so class has a class teacher grade and let's say um, category class id so grade and category class uh, uh, class has class teacher grade category and location to identify the class to identify the class grade and category both can be used or grade and category can be used a teacher has teacher id teacher name subject and pp number subject as subject id subject has subject id let's say a subject has subject id subject name and level subject has subject name. okay now please read this scenario carefully now please read this students are uh, students are assigned to classes students are assigned to classes a class has class teacher grade category and location to identify the class grade and category can be used a teacher has teacher id teacher name subject and tp number a subject has subject id subject name and level okay after reading this can you imagine how many tables are going to come now can you tell how many tables will will be there now so the first table is student student table has student id st id first name mid, uh, last name and email where student id is the primary key i'm going to underline this student id is the primary key student id is the primary key and student id is the primary key okay let's ignore this so what are the other tables that you can see here other than the student table any other table that you can see me wage ekak kiyawana kota nikan tables tika hite ma wena gaanta enawana then the database subject will be very easy for you so please read and try to understand what are the other tables other than student what are the other table teacher yes teacher is another table teacher monada thiyenne teacher has 
teacher ID, teacher okay. name. Right, teacher has teacher ID, teacher name. What else? Subject. Uh, right, okay. Teacher ID, T ID, T name, teacher name, teacher ID, teacher name, subject, and TP. What is the primary key of teacher table? What do you think? What is the teacher primary key? ID. Yes. So, the easiest thing, the best candidate key will be teacher ID. So, let's assign teacher ID as the primary key. Why teacher ID? Because it seems to be unique. Name can be repeated, but ID probably it's unique. Okay, any other table? Any other table? Subject table. Sorry? Subject table. Subject table, yes. Subject table. So what are the uh, things inside subject? Again, you have subject ID, SID, and subject name, subject name and level. Okay, subject has subject ID, subject name and level. Okay, let's underline subject ID as the primary key. Anything else? Anything else? Mom, make it the skill like a key and number 10. The me while he tell again. That's really good. That's really good. So I'll, I'll tell you what is the skill level and what is why this is important. And okay, any other table? Oh, only this. Student table, teacher table, subject table, only this. Only this or oh, anything else? Only this now, only kill again. Situm, can you see any other thing? Situm, Situm, in on either. Okay, Netuli, can you see any other thing? Class. Class, exactly. Class is another one. Class has, yes, class has uh, class teacher, <laughs> grade, category, and location. Class has class teacher, grade, category, and location. Okay, what is the primary key for uh, class? Primary key for class? Yeah, it's given, it's given. In the paragraph, it's given. To identify the class, grade and category can be used. Grade and category together. So this is form in a primary key. Go, grade and category together. It forms the category. Sorry, primary key. So primary key can be two keys like this. Okay. So then how to relate these tables? That is my practical problem. And before that, let me explain the skill. Make the pute, go and exam make out, may make identify current, you know, make a ER diagram make a kin. We have not discussed ER diagrams. I have to come Katakarene. Exam make the ER diagram making the good apple out of Hana, may have tables like a para generate current Hana, ER diagram making. The OT Yagan only Chutaki never time make a dinner, the memory and the students letter them may make the eka watchanea. Student kin watch and a vistra color the unknown. Student has student ID, first name, last name. Vistara Kalatin a noun like a noun, a pekali, you know, table like a kid. Then teacher can a Vistara Kalatin on see. So understand this. Teacher has teacher ID, teacher name, teacher can a Vistara Kalatin on. So it's a noun, but explain. Then you write as a table. Subject is a noun. Subject has subject ID, subject name, level. Like a noun like a Vistara Kalatin on a pekali. Vistarakala nati nouns the noun. For an example, subject has subject ID, a noun, but not explain. Subject, noun, but not explain. Level, noun, but not explain. Those nouns come as attributes. Those nouns are the attributes of the particular subject. 
the subject kila tiene ka vistara kala tiene na table leka kena wa. Eke atule kal kila tiene vistara kala na tiye wa. These nouns we call attributes. O column IDs, column names, or the attributes. So now you will disconnect, right? Because there are 40 minute limit taking the wala disconnect pay. So then please connect to the same one. So actually before we write down, I just want to explain the relationship between these tables. Here. Student teach subjects. So here subject ID, you can put as a subject. Subject ID, you can put as the subject. So that is the relationship. And again, so teacher, uh, what else? Teacher teach subjects. So that is not given here, but teacher teach subjects. So you can create a relationship in a teacher has here. Teacher has a Yes, class has a class teacher. Class has a class teacher here. That means you have to relate this class teacher to this two. May I, may I relate to another one? Because class has a class teacher. Class has a class teacher. So teacher teach subject. Subject to subject. Teacher ID will come here. And how to relate student to the class? Student has classes. Students are assigned to classes. 